I've been wanting to do this since I moved here. I've got this feeling. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to the start of a new vlog. It has been a hot minute since I vlogged, and I guess to kind of brush you all up for people who didn't see my previous vlog, um, my old vlogging camera died, and it kind of made me like rethink and reconsider how I felt about vlogging. Not that I don't like it, I just feel like at least for the last few weeks, like my day-to-day -day life has been something that I haven't really felt like picking up a camera to vlog. And I was in Boston for almost a month and then I decided to just kind of like let myself enjoy that and have those moments. Um, and I was like sick with a cold too. So it didn't really like make sense to like take out the camera and vlog. But honestly, I also have to realize like when it comes to vlogging, like those are more private personal moments of my life and if I choose not to share that with you guys like that's like okay and I'm like kind of allowed to like make those choices but I'm actually just on my way out to go get my hair redone it has been so long but finally I am able to go get it done and then it's a beautiful sunny day it feels like a spring day here in Toronto and I'm very excited about it I have to leave here like ASAP because I have to get to my appointment. Um, but I'm really excited to get my hair done and hopefully like chopped a bit too. Not much because I'm pretty attached to the length. I just want like more layers and stuff like that just to make it look a little bit more lively. But this is my outfit for the day. I'm kind of going really basic, just a headband and some earrings. And then this green jumper with pink, obviously, because I love green and pink together. Um, I'm gonna check in with you guys when I'm at the salon. I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to vlog. I'll have to ask my friend who doesn't, I don't really know if she's comfortable with being on the vlog, but I figured I would start now and say hello and hi to all of you, because this week's gonna be a little bit more exciting. I have a friend who's coming to visit me uh, tomorrow morning so we'll be doing a lot of touristy stuff and I figured I'd take you guys along and maybe even give you like more of a tourist view of Toronto because there's a lot to do here and once the weather is nicer oh, my arm's getting tired <laughs> once the weather's nicer I'll be able to show you guys like a lot of the really really beautiful stuff that I like about this like area um and I just feel so much better knowing that that's coming and it's like actually a beautiful sunny day outside um, and it's like just around the corner. So anyways, I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, I don't know if I said already. Good lighting. I'm vlogging, but my hair is done. How cute is it? Ju I let Justine style me a little differently, and you know what? I don't hate it. I don't know if I'll do it on my own, but it's nice to do something different every once in a while. Yeah, I mean, I've always, I've always been curious about this style on myself. I also just don't know that I could recreate it, right? But I've always wanted my bangs like this, like always. So. Oh yes, Cody. So the place is called Just Be Salon in Leslieville. Yes, honestly, great. Everyone there is super nice. Like you know, sometimes when you go to salons, like it feels like weird. Like it's got that like weird salon like culture. Not this place though. Like the it, they're really really nice. And I had a great time. I was there for a couple of hours. We're gonna go eat though because we're both really hungry. Um, and it's a beautiful day in Toronto. I'm just really enjoying walking. Oh, Bobette and Bell. Is that a place? Yeah, it's like really cute in there. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I literally there's, forgot there's that I was vlogging. There's no way that you're seeing her. No, there's nothing that's gonna happen here. Uh, Justine and I have been hanging out for the whole day. We went to the Broadview Hotel and it was beautiful and I got to see the patio for the first time, which I guess I can probably insert some like pictures we took of ourselves. <laughs> um, now we're gonna like end our day with some sushi because we're both hungry. I also have no groceries. I'm tired. Same. Oh, you're gonna want to just go home, aren't you? I'm gonna go into a food coma. Yeah, I can't eat too much because I still gotta clean and stuff when I go home. My friend's literally showing up at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Why don't you use your front-facing flash? Uh, how am I gonna be front-facing flash? You can, pick, you can do that. Good morning, you guys. It is okay. I look weird without my glasses on right now. <laughs> As I was saying, good morning, you guys. It is 
um, 8.24 on, I believe, Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. And it's a very rainy, very gloomy day in Toronto. And I'm so glad that I got out yesterday because if I didn't, I'd have been super bummed about today. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better this morning. I'm actually tackling a lot of things. I have my sheets washing right now. I have some work I need to do. My friend is showing up later and we don't have any like crazy plans for the day. Like I'm definitely gonna be getting my nails done and she wants to get her nails done too but because the weather is really not that great. Like our original plan was to go to Kensington Market, which if you were coming to Toronto, you definitely need to hit up Kensington Market. It's such a cute area. There's so many like independent shops there and it's just really good to like put your money towards those independent shops as well. Um, and just a lot to see, a lot of cute stuff, but the weather's just bad. It's like raining and not the kind of day to do it. So I'm hoping that I can find um, another time to do that with her. But I think today what we are gonna do is maybe do some walking around in other places. I might drag her with me to go to like HomeSense and Structube because my number one priority since coming home is lighting. We have iffy lighting in this space. Currently, um, we only have some overhead lights like there and then in the living room, there's one up there. And then I have one in my bedroom and her bedroom, she doesn't have one, but she has like that um, floor lamp, which I hasn't, hasn't been used yet because there's no light bulb. I think what I'm gonna do is focus on getting at least one floor lamp. And I think I'm gonna focus right now. I feel like this is very boring for a lot of you, but it's just like what I'm thinking of. I wanna get one for that corner because we all agree, we both agree that that lamp up there, I'm gonna show you, it gives such like a harsh, ugly tone. Oops, wrong one. Like when it's on, it's just not very like, comfortable in here, which is why we often sit with the string lights on. So I'm going to get a floor lamp. I feel like a floor lamp, floor lamp lighting will be nicer. And then maybe if I find something within the right price, I'm also going to get one for by my desk. I know there's a lot of stuff beside it right now, so it's going to be cleared up. Um, but I want to get one to go on that side where the suitcases are. And I want to get one of those ones that like, you know, are big and then they kind of like, you know, bend over. I want to get something like that. Um, because even when I have the light on in the kitchen to light up the area, cause it's so dark there right now. Like it looks a lot more light on camera. Um, it, it's just, it's not light from the opposite side because a day like today where it's super gloomy, like it's super dark there. And if I were to get a floor lamp, I think I'd have sufficient lighting. I don't like to have to have the kitchen lighting uh, light on when I'm not even in the kitchen, when I'm like in my like office space, which is like, you know, just in the middle of the living room but that's kind of what I want to do today I know I've probably bored a lot of you but I'm just gonna zone out I feel like okay right now about being a little bit lazier or taking my time um even though you know it's not my ideal morning but Thursdays for me are usually pretty low-key there's not like too much going on and I've got some laundry going I have some cleaning I have to do it's only um 8 30 in the morning so I'm not going to start vacuuming yet I'm going to probably do that around like 10 so I don't want to like wake people up with vacuuming so um yeah that's on the agenda today I will see you guys in a little bit hopefully I remember to record it's been so long that I just like constantly like forget to record like I barely recorded anything from yesterday even though yesterday was like a pretty big day and like the Broadview Hotel was gorgeous. I will go back there eventually and, and vlog it for you because it was great and you should definitely go. Also these lights I got from Target for a dollar so I doubt they still have them because they were in the dollar section and they always are changing what's in the dollar section but how cute are they? Okay we are on our way. Oh just here by the way. <laughs> Um, we are on our way now to go to the CN Tower. I'm trying to like get her to do touristy things and I figure the most touristy thing she could do is the CN Tower. So, and I've been trying to get a friend who's come to visit me to go to the CN Tower this entire time, but like nobody's wanted to go. So, me, I eat Gil. Me. <laughs> so we will, I'll vlog when we're up there cause it's pretty cool. Okay, we're about to go up. I'm Christina and right now we are heading up to the lookout level. It's so literally 346 meters, 1136 feet, 114 building stories. North facing view at the front windows here, but you do have the glass panels under your feet if you want to take a look down and track our progress. You don't have to, but they're there. <laughs> 
take us 58 seconds to reach the lookout level at 22 kilometers or 15 miles an hour. So you have that level to explore, as well as one set of stairs down from there, that'll be the glass floor. So take your time, take lots of photos rather there, no, uh, there's no time limit or anything like that, it's as long as you'd like. But when you are ready to leave, the elevators on the glass floor level are the ones that'll bring you to the ground, okay? If you have any questions, feel free. City Tower, I'm trying to help you out. I, the gum is not even helping. <laughs> <laughs> It helps a little bit, but no. No, I still gotta do a lot We of are almost there though. There Ooh. we go. That means we're in the main pod. Oh, my ears are fun. All right, so when these doors open, please watch your step as you exit and enjoy your visit, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Just watch your step here. You can right on in. Right to the window. Just come inside here. Thank you. Wow. Wait, Jess, hold on. Look, take this in. This is new. It was never like this before. What do you mean? This was not like this before. Like, you didn't feel so close. Was I wonder, I'm going to see if I can windows? spot my apartment building. Okay. We did it. We're up. It was not as bad as I remember it being, but it was still scary. But this view is, like, incredible. It's a beautiful day to be up here. Yes, it is. Like, it's not even that bad out. Yeah. But we're going to walk around and then we're going to go to the even higher deck. Okay, we are up. Very high. And it's very scary. <laughs> this is like... It's pretty intense. So we are up 100 meters higher than where we were. And I thought we were high before. But like, I feel like pressure up here. Like, I feel like the gravity is like a little... Well, not really, but like it just feels like... Heavier, you know what I mean? I think it's in your head. I no, think the pressure is in your head. No, god, my hair is like not right today. <laughs> Whatever, it's gotta go like this. That's better. Okay, oh, look, sun. body in my hair but now I got body in my hair again. <laughs> what? You were saying that you like felt all off in your head. Yeah. Being that high above sea level, like a mile above sea level makes sense. <laughs> So we're really giving you a run for your money. <laughs> Are you good? Are you good? Doing it. Baseball games are the yeah. best. Baseball's easily the best sport. I mean, yeah, I don't really like sports. The men have the hottest spots. Without lie. I will 
check back later and let you know my thoughts on that. <laughs> yeah, you definitely do. Yeah. I'm here. Yes, you are. No, no, no. Yes, you are. She's asking questions. She likes I'm it. I'm asking questions because I literally have another choice but to ask questions and try to figure out what's happening. I know, and she's actually learning. So next time, you'll love it. <laughs> I'm not. So apparently we won. All I know is it's time to go home. I have my voice really cracked there. What is that? Yes, they won. Yeah, they won. I guess, I don't know, that was long. Okay, time to go home, but I think I want to chill for like five seconds because it's going to be real. Yeah, Hi guys, okay, I realized I haven't vlogged at all today. It is Saturday at like 9.30ish. We went shopping, 9.30 at night, by the way. <laughs> she just literally cleared the house. Well, not really. She got, how many bath bombs was it? Like, at least 10? I got 10 bath bombs. She got 10 bath bombs. She got something from Kate Spade, and then she's like, if I go into Kate Spade, I don't want to buy anything. I and then, a wallet. I didn't buy a bag. Yeah. Wait, today? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was just trying to see if I had something. We're going to go get something to eat, but nothing, like, super crazy has happened today. I just made her binge um, Dirty John. So that was the thing. We're gonna go get something to eat and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. LA and they're gonna rent a car and drive down the coast. Mm -hmm. Sarah, Sarah's never been on a plane, okay? Okay, you guys, it is pretty much already Monday. It's midnight right now, but I thought I would actually say hello for the day. It's Sunday, like I said, midnight. <laughs> Still technically Sunday because I haven't gone to bed yet. Uh, I just got home from hanging out at my friend's place, as you saw, with the cute little dog. It was so nice. Like, we literally just like hung out with like no makeup on, whatever. I'm wearing Odafix on my face. I know it kind of looks a little bit like baby vomit, but it's like banana and oatmeal. It's making my skin tangle. It's never done that before when I wore it, so I might not keep it on very long. Um, I don't know. Like, I used to use Odafix all the time on my skin, and it's now just like weird and feels like tingly. So, I'm not sure if it's just like it's like different or my skin's different or whatever. Uh, but it does not feel good. I thought I would say hi and good night because I'm gonna go to bed after I finish a couple episodes of Broad City. I bought a subscription to Crave Canada, and if you're in Canada, that's how we get all like the HBO shows and stuff like that. And I bought the opportunity to watch like HBO shows as they like come in. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna be hanging out with my friends. We're gonna go to brunch. I'm gonna see my best friend Allie for the first time since I got home. She's just been like so busy and I'm just really excited to see her and she's excited to see me and we're gonna talk and catch up and I miss her. And then I also need to record some things and hopefully also organize myself because I've been very disorganized since getting home and I think that's kind of why I feel like all over the place. So I will see you guys in a bit or rather in the morning. I'm gonna, like I said, zone out and hopefully this doesn't give me a bad reaction, but I'll let you know how it goes in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It is 9.43 in the morning on Monday. I'm trying to find a place where you can't see a reflection on my glasses. It's much harder than it looks. Here, there we go. Okay, it is Monday at 9.43 a.m. I'm in really good, like a really, really good mood because it is just so beautiful and sunny outside. I actually, as you guys saw, started my morning like on the balcony, which is something that now the weather is getting nicer is what I wanna do. I used to at home, as I'm sure if you've been a long time viewer of my vlogs, uh, saw that I used to love like getting a tea or whatever, like a coffee tea. And I just had like a banana outside cause I don't have any more bread left for bagels or anything like that. But 
anyways, the point is just sitting outside with like my breakfast and just being in the sun, because like I said, this apartment is like kind of set up a little bit weird so that like half of the apartment uh, doesn't get sun. And I mean, I'm sure it would be better if like there wasn't like a bed and stuff in the living space, like blocking a lot of the view. But for now, that's just kind of like the way it looks. So the fact that I was like able to start my morning with like the sun on me, even though it is like still a little bit cold outside, I like brought a blanket out. I was just sitting there. I came in though, cause I'm not sure if you can hear, but the garbage truck is here. I forgot that it comes on Mondays and it is very, very loud. Today I'm going to be doing some recording. I'm really gonna try to do two videos. I'm trying now that like spring's here and I'm trying to get a little bit more organized. Um, be better about my schedule. So like Mondays is, are usually my recording day because I don't really have anything else um, to post or whatever to edit. Um, and then also try to work a little bit on my blog posts for tomorrow, which are gonna be, which is gonna be like spring finds because I'm in spring mode right now. It's all I wanna think about, so. And then I am still kind of figuring out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the week. What did I say I was gonna do for Saturday or Sunday? Oh, I was gonna do a video about the struggles of plus size shopping. For that, I actually wanted to go out and record. I wanted to like go to like a mall and go and see how many places in the mall that I could actually Actually shop at um, and that will be up after this vlog goes up just let me know what you guys think about that or what ideas that you have I'm sorry if I seem all over the place but like I'm just as I'm talking realizing things that I need to do so I'll check in with you guys in a bit like I said I'm gonna go ahead and get myself together and all that just see what they have. I haven't been here in a while, but mustard's everywhere. Like, how cute is that? I think I'm gonna have to try some stuff on. Not sure if I'm gonna do a video or what, but we'll see. Okay, guys, it's like 6.30 on Wednesday. I haven't picked up my camera once because I've just been like editing and also watching TV. I'm on my way to start to elevator doors about to open, but I'll see you guys there. This is so cute. We got, a, we got a lot of stuff. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. My friend Olivia is gonna help put it all together. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with me? There we go, okay. before my alarm actually early enough to see the sunrise and it was uh it's pretty awesome that's okay because i actually got to see the sunrise and it's a really really beautiful i think i might try to do that more don't mind the fact that we have like string lights on the ground both me and my roommate really hate how this looks i've been set it a bunch of times so i got this ottoman which i think is so cute because i have so many pinks in here i feel like i don't want to do too much pink and pink and green look great together and then because i'm going to be accessorizing with things like plants which by the way this plant itself is going to go back because i paid 40 dollars for this thing and i know it's a fake plant 
but like I can't maneuver it in a way, at least that it was in the showroom, like the showroom looked awesome, but like me and my friend were at this forever. And then you can see like it just like leans. So it's not good. I should take the tag off of that. That pot holder was so inexpensive. Um, I wanna say it was like $17 and it's great. So I'm probably just gonna try and find another one and call it a day. But then I have the green here as well, which ties into it. I do like, I am sad that this isn't like more bright in this space because I feel like this just looks very dark in here. But if it was in like a brighter space, say like where the living room is, it would look a lot better. But yeah, that's kind of a little bit more how it is now. <laughs> Not even two minutes ago, it was beautiful spring weather. It keeps going between this and literally like gorgeous spring weather. I don't understand how to plan my day. What do I wear? <laughs> and it's like kind of warm outside today. And it's like, I mean, it just, I mean, I'll be filming again when it just goes to normal weather, but this is just ridiculous. My phone is charging right now. I can't like show you that it's literally spring weather again outside, um, but I'm finished my makeup as you can see. I am trying to decide the order of events that I want to do things. I do think I'm going to go to the market first and then maybe when I'm done, I can come home because um, I'll have been out for a while and it's literally only noon. It feels like it's like much later because I'm so used to getting ready later, but maybe then I can come, come home and get work done. Um, yeah, I think I like that plan because I don't feel like I want to go to the coffee shop just yet. Um, maybe I'll do that later depending how I feel, but... I don't really have an incredibly large amount of stuff to film today either, so that's stuff that can just be held off until the night. And then I just really wanna get out like during the day, even though I'm gonna be inside once I get out, I just feel like I wanna get out now because then when it comes time to like eating, I'll have like the food here and stuff. But I was just telling a couple friends of mine that like I kind of feel a little bit weird about the way that my hair is being styled right now. This is kind of how they did it when I got it done, which is more of those like beachy waves, which is like honestly fine for a once in a while kind of thing. Um, they made it look very 70s, which I was so about, but for some reason for me, it just looks very like beachy, almost like 90s. Like I know I'm doing that like very like 90s hairstyle right now, um, but I just don't like love it, at least the way that I styled it today. So when I like wash my hair and stuff, I think I'm just gonna do the usual curls that I was doing um, and see if that works. I did try to do Velcro rollers and it looked great. It just had needed to be in my hair much longer. And I put in the like Velcro roll here in the wrong direction. So it was like way higher than I wanted it to because it kind of needs to like sit a little bit more. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm going to get ready to go. This has to charge a bit as well, but I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to the market right now. I've decided that's what I'm doing. And I feel like weird about my hair, but that's only because it's different and that's just me being weird about change. But I'm just gonna get like a few fruits, veggies, maybe a few like meats, cause I need some, see what else is there. But I've been wanting to do this since I moved here. I mean, I've actually been wanting to go to the market for years, I just never had the chance. So I'm excited to go. I'll take you guys along with me. Obviously, I don't know how much I'm gonna show because I'm sure my hands are gonna be full, but I actually remember my reusable bags and I feel very good about it.
wanna let you guys know to come to Greenery Patch if you are in St. Lawrence Market. I've got a lot of health here, I'm getting a lot of plants, I feel very good about my decision, feel very informed, and the prices are not that bad either. I'm back home and I guess I'll show you guys what I got. I actually got a decent amount. Honestly, like the prices aren't that bad. I thought it was gonna be worse because you know, it's like all independent sellers, but to be entirely honest with you, I was like decently shocked at how little I spent. Okay, so I got some strawberries because I've really been craving strawberries, but look how good those look. I'm hoping they're as good as they claim to be. And then I'm gonna eat this now, but it's like a spinach and cheese bagel. That looks really good and I wanted something to eat, but I didn't have a chance to eat there. And then I got myself some actual bagels. I need to put some in the freezer. They said the best way to preserve them is cut all the ones in half that you're not gonna use. So I'm gonna do that later just cause I really need to get work done right now. So it's not a priority. What did I, oh, and then some sliced bread. It's a uh, caraway and onion sliced bread. I'm so excited. It smells so good. I love caraway bread, like rye caraway bread. It's actually, I don't need to put that in there. I can just put that out here right now. And then I also got a green onion, which I meant to get a little bag for, but I guess I didn't. Then some cuties. This is something I've been wanting for a long time. I love clementines. They're just such a good little snack. I also got one, two, three, four avocados. I have a few in the fridge, so I'm gonna put these in the fridge and then finish the ones that I have. I got a cucumber, which I love. I've been really, really loving cucumbers more than usual. Like I love cucumbers already, but I've really been loving them more than usual lately. I got two green pepper, and I also got one tomato because I like cutting them up for breakfast and having them for breakfast. And then I got some plants. Oh my God. Let me tell you, I got that fake plant from Structube for $40, which is gonna go back tomorrow. I don't like it. It like looks very ugly. Um, but then I just got like real plants and I got three real plants with pots for 25 bucks. So go real. It's just, there's so many more benefits to having real plants. If you have the space or like rather the light for it, the light conditions for it, it's always better. So, I got this first succulent and there should be a little, yeah, there's a little tray to go with it. Go cute. I love, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> then I got this one here, which I think I showed you guys these already. I love this one. I love how it looks. And then I got this plant, which I'm gonna get, it just comes with like a little tin. But I want to get a, another little tin to go with it. These are really good for low light. They're I think called snake plants. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they're really, really good for like low light. And I want to put this in my room in a place where there is low light. So it would be perfect. And this one here, I can show you, oh my God, I'm just covered in plants. <laughs> I can show you this one. It's called an aloe plant. Well, it's an aloe plant and I'm getting this or I'm going to give this to my friend um olivia it's her birthday this weekend but she and i went shopping i think i showed you guys her yesterday we went shopping and she forgot her little um thingamabob like her plant holder that she bought and i'm gonna give it to her plus this aloe plant because we both love aloe or love plants in general so i thought that that would be really nice i hope it fits right you guys get the gist i'm super excited about the plants let me actually see where I can put these guys because I need to make sure that there's enough light. Just move some things over here. I'm gonna get sunlight here for sure, but I definitely wanna get something that looks like higher to go behind it. But for now it looks pretty cute, right? Like what's the point of putting something fake that's gonna get light when I can put like real things that need the light? Maybe I'll just put the snake plant there for now. Cause honestly I can't put it where it needs to go. Oh, it's not cute when you drop it. Okay, I just got home. I couldn't wait to take my hair down. down. Um, and you know, sometimes when you have your hair up for a full day, and then you take it down and it looks like this. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But um, I was going to wrap up the vlog today until I realized it is actually 
Wednesday and on Thursday. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I really don't expect to be vlogging for the rest of the night because I'm wiped. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to rip my makeup off and go to sleep or watch a movie or two or something or fall asleep on the couch because who the heck knows what my night will be. But yeah, I'm going to just for sure take my makeup off because I am exhausted. Good morning, you guys. I forgot to start the vlog this morning. It is Thursday at basically one o'clock, as you can see. I have had a really slow morning because I woke up with a headache. I really like didn't, don't know why I ate chocolate so late at night. It's something that like absolutely trigger, triggers my headache. I am just like out of the shower. I want to make something. I don't know why my face feels so tight. I literally have moisturizer on it. It's just like acting really weird. Um, I want to make something to eat. It's a gorgeous day outside. I really wish at times like this, I had some like patio furniture, even though we have a very small patio. I do wish we had some sort of patio furniture, which is going to be like something I do probably actually when I come back from England or I'm not really sure because to be honest with you, we are probably still gonna get a snowstorm or two, so I don't wanna be like investing in that when there are like other things in my apartment that need, you know, sprucing up. Like, I'm gonna make something to eat. I don't know what I wanna eat, but I definitely wanna use some of the stuff that I bought yesterday. I did forget to mention, I had the bagels this morning or like a bagel and some of the strawberries. And this is what I was worried about, but like strawberries are so finicky. You never know if they're gonna be good or not good. And they were not that good. Like they were so like nice and big, but they just didn't taste that good. So I put the Velcro rollers in my hair, but I made my usual pasta. See how good it looks? And then also I feel better at the, about this as an option too, because at least I have leftovers for a couple of days. Okay, going out. This is my look. My eyes feel a little dark. <laughs> It's really weird, but I scrubbed very, very hard. So I don't know, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog because I have a feeling I'm gonna forget. Mm, I'm just gonna stay up a little bit longer though. It's like midnight already, but I wanna stay up a little bit longer and like watch something um, because I'm just in that kind of mood, you know? And my head hurts a little bit. I think it's because I had sugar. I don't, literally, I started this vlog saying I'm not gonna have sugar late at night, but they had an open bar of just candy and like the most amazing cotton candy in the world. Fat girl stereotype, but like, whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, you guys, I really hope you enjoy it. enjoyed my return to vlogging. I will, I'm not really sure if I'm going to vlog again next week, but I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Really don't think that there's anything. Actually, no, next, next week is like a boring week, so I can't promise I'll be around next week, but we'll see how I feel. It was a nice vlogging again, but uh, yeah, good night and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Yeah.